Hello everyone, and welcome to episode number 8 of my Python video game engine series. Uh, it's been quite a while since the last video. I kind of took a development break over the holidays and uh, resumed work on the engine probably about the end of January. Uh, last time we talked about some features I had added, including uh, radio buttons and checkboxes, as well as text. Um, I still have the radio buttons and the checkboxes, but I've killed the text rendering uh, until I could find a more efficient method. The uh, method I was using for text rendering was really killing performance, so I'm going to have to uh, find another way to go about doing that. Uh, I've got two basic things to show you uh, in this episode. Uh, the first is a new type of GUI control that I've developed here in the last few days, and that's the uh, sc uh, GUI scroll control and that allows you to uh, scroll horizontally, uh, horizontally and vertically uh, to show any content that might not be able to be displayed all at once uh, and I'll show that to you now um, the content area inside this scroll control is currently set to uh, 640 by 480 and since that entire area won't fit uh, within the uh, confines of the window uh, the bars here on the right and the left will allow you to scroll to view those areas. So you see that I can scroll down and scroll back up and I can scroll over and scroll back left. So that works pretty well. I can maximize the window and show you a little bit more about how that works. Uh, you see uh, right now the scroll area uh, maintains the same size even when you maximize the window. I may add an option later to make uh, to allow the scroll area to uh, fill the the size of its parent so if you maximize the window it can put the scroll area at the entire size I haven't added that yet but it's probably something that I will add uh, soon but the uh, scroll bars still work the same way uh, when you're looking at it in this view um, one thing that's important here I think is that um, in the area where there is no con content uh, it's just transparent, so it shows the background color of the window here. So you can put this in any tw uh, any GUI object type that you want, and it won't uh, you know necessarily cover up any content that's already there. So that works pretty well. Uh, the second big thing that I've added, and uh, there's definitely still uh, more work to be done here, but I've started implementing. Uh, audio capabilities to the engine. You see here I've set up a pretty uh, basic piano uh, piano key setup here and I'll uh, demonstrate how that works for you now. So you can see that works pretty well. And uh, basically, these are just normal buttons designed to look like piano keys. And I've made it so that when the button is depressed, it highlights it in red. And when you release the button, it emits the sound. So that works pretty well. Right now, the only audio that I've done uh, is just uh, regular non-positional GUI audio. Um, so this isn't the same sort of audio that would be used for in-game sound effects, explosions and things like that. This would just be for the sounds in the interface itself. But it's extremely easy to implement. Um, it just uses the uh, widely available uh, OpenAL, Open Audio Library. Um, which is cross-platform, so that's really nice. So you could, um, you know, take this to Linux, and the audio would still work on a Linux platform as well. So uh, that's pretty much it for now. Um, I've made some pretty massive improvements that are kind of hard to describe. Uh, some reorganization in the way that um, GUI objects are made. I've done a lot of reorganization in the. Uh, the various GUI classes uh, to make them operate much more efficiently. Um, so that all works pretty well. Uh, probably for the next time I'll have a much more advanced um, 
audio demonstration showing that it can, you know, play and pause and stop and, uh, you know, change the volume. Maybe I'll have a song that I'll play, uh, things like that. So uh, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I will keep working on it and uh, get back to you when I've got some more to show. All right, bye.